Welcome to Trading Lounge and the daily US stocks for Wednesday, October the 5th. And just looking at the SPX here, yesterday we looked at um, this particular bar moving up here and we noted that uh, the volume was lower than the previous bar uh, here. And also today we see the market move up higher, um, but also on lower volume as well. So all corrections are on lower volume. So the move up here should be corrective because a trend needs increasing volume. It doesn't matter if the trend is going up or down, it needs increasing volume in the direction of the trend. Yes, it can have divergence where, well, this would be divergence here where the market could, the price can move up but the volume diminishes at that point, but it's not going to go very far without any volume. So the volume is confirming the price action here <clears throat> in saying that it's corrective to the upside. Coming on to uh, our normal charts here and just looking at the S&P for a moment, the change that I've made through, uh, through the stock market and also for the indices as well is that I'm bringing in um, this wave three and this wave four. We still have one more leg to come down before we get this larger rally here. So yeah, uh, let's just go in and take a closer look at that. So from the top here, one, two, three, four, and five to come down. So we'll go into the tick chart starting on the 50K. And so it looks a bit like this. So one and two here. And then I'm tightening this up here as one, two, three, four, five for the third wave, the A, the B, and the C here for, for this. It's pretty clear that this is a corrective move. You know, in some cases like Amazon, it hasn't made a new low here. It's kept above that, but many markets have <coughs> um, created this new low here and it is in three waves. So I have to look at it as a B wave as such. Um, yeah, um, one of the old counts that we have just because everybody will be thinking, not everybody, but a lot, lot of folks will be thinking about um, the 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 upside here uh, in terms of you know can this be bullish and the I don't know if you remember the old count that we had where we had um, wave B over here with wave C over there with it of course and then then uh, then wave A up here I'm just going to put that back here so medium level on four. And we could put, as it stands today, we could put wave B here as an A and a B and a C for wave B. So sometimes we do see wave B come down lower here. Well, in fact, we've seen it just in here, haven't we? You know, that we're using it here. So why can't it be up here uh, the same as this as an A and a B and a C? It's possible, plausible, but not probable. So, um, I'm just going to go back to that point, but I think it's just worth mentioning we had it there and then we negated that uh, that count and you know the S&P has pulled up to where it should have pulled up. If it, if it had only pulled up 50% um, here, right, then like if it just pulled up to 50%, then I'd sort of be more inclined with, um, you know, I'd be okay with more putting a B wave here, but coming up closer to the, you know, 60 1.8% a little bit higher here, then I think it's sort of satisfied because a lot of the time I see markets that would come up to the 50, drop back and then go up to the 61.8%. But this one here has gone up a little bit higher. So I think that it's, uh, I think that it's okay like this. <clears throat> um, so yeah, so that's where we're at. We can just go to the 1000 ticks and just check on this for a moment. I just wanted to talk about this leg that's moving up here. And um, so we've got the A wave, the B wave here, definitely in three waves. There's no way you can get five waves out of that. Um, so this leg here, there's a couple of different ways to count it. I just wanted to look at the two different ways. So one is, well, you know, in a lot of cases that wave one would be here, but it suits quite nicely here as well. But it doesn't really matter, you're still left with wave two here. So this is how we had it sort of counted yesterday, but I had this one degree smaller. So the 
situation here is that I could go one and two here, then one, two, three, four, five here for the third wave, and then the fourth wave here, and then one, two, three, four, five here for the fifth wave here. I mean, these ones here would need to be taken up one degree of structure, but basically one, two, three, four here, and then one, two, three, four, five here, and have a top in play. So it can have a top in play just here. But I'm thinking that um, I'll just extend it a bit further with one and two here, one, two, three, four, five for one and two, and one, two, three, four, five here for the third wave, the fourth wave. And that will leave us with the fifth wave to go up here, then a fourth wave, and then a fifth wave. Now, because the extension's in the third wave coming up here, that means that wave five here and wave one here will be will have some sort of relationship with them. So this one up here won't go very far here. So it'll be a bit of a, I think it will be a bit of a, whichever way you want to look at this, <coughs> it will be a bit of a failure at the, um, at the three eight. We call, I call eight a profit taking number, the third strongest number. And I think that because this has moved up on lower volume and it was quite strong here and it's moved up, up, up further, but it's still going up on, you know, less volume. So less volume and hitting a number like this is really going to uh, impact this trend here. So we should start seeing overlapping wave structures in here. So be very careful about uh, being long in this in this in this stage and also be very careful about being short too um you really know because of the overlapping wave structures it'll, be, it'll just be all it'll be a little bit tough up here you know it's all nice and smooth here but it's going to be a little bit different up here so yeah anyway we'll talk about more about that within the indices so we'll just go into the stocks now just to get a bit of a bearing on that so with apple here i can count apple in a couple of different ways uh, so it doesn't really matter really because uh, this move up here we're looking as wave four we're still looking for a move down and um, and in a lot of cases we've got this as wave one and two here for that so we 10 and five let's just cruise in here so 10k ticks so they'll all be <laughs> different counts so um, it kind of doesn't matter really. I mean, of course it matters if, you know, to be right or wrong matters, you know, um, long, you know, but <laughs> if you're a bit philosophical about it, being right or wrong doesn't matter too much, you know, just hanging out in the gray zones, um, a pretty chill place. So, and what I mean by that is that I've either got the count right across the market or, or I haven't, you know, so that means that uh, we're going up for wave four and we're going down for wave five here, just like the S&P and the NASI and that, and then going back up for wave two, that will probably go higher there because we'll be looking for a, if I take that down to 130, we'll be up back up into this space here, which I think I did on another one of these charts, probably the next one, but um, anyway, we'll get that um, in here. And when this comes up here, you know, it's going to find it pretty tough at the 150 uh, area here again as well. I mean, really, this here was when, if, if you remember it from this low here to this high up yonder, this was the 50, 60 percent retracement level here. And it held up here for such a long time. And then it finally sort of edged its way lower through here and because we've got the classic trading levels pattern and the trading levels we can get a better visual on things and we can see that you know we could well when it first came down here it didn't even reach here so we might there must be orders here but we knew that anyway so um yeah but eventually it came down a bit further we got lower highs and uh still lower highs and then it dropped through and then it retests and how it's retesting now in that small way is really what it's doing now it wants to go back up and check that uh 61.8 percent mark there so at the 148 sort of area um, but once it checks it um, and we know the market's going up on low volume i don't know if apple's going up on low volume um, i haven't checked each one but uh, one should if one has money in it um, <clears throat> then uh, you know one more move down will it reach the low down here at 130 we always get a bounce off 130 but been here before so somewhere down here and then we'll get some sort of abc correction back here this will be whichever way you want to look at this here it'll be in uh three waves here before moving down again at this point so we'll just go to the i think it's 1000 
Um, yeah. Uh, okay. So this is yeah, this is part of the uh, daily count. So it's a bit of a different count, but still it's the same thing just down here and back over here. Let's go to 100 ticks. <clears throat> so uh, let me just get a bit more data in here. I mean, Apple's a bit of a thing unto its own in its own little way. Um, so the only change here I've done is I've changed it from this blue wave four to this wave four. This is the 38.2% retracement level that we looked at yesterday. And it's probable that we will get uh, another high to come in uh, through here for this as well. So I won't worry about it today. We'll look for some short trade setups tomorrow. Um, there's different ways to count this up. Yesterday we started counting it up as one and two here. Um, and then one, two, three, four, five here. So I may need to go back and address that. We had it as an A and a B, and then we got one, two, three, four, five here for the C. So we can have a top in here, <clears throat> but uh, the rest of the market's telling us that we need to be going higher. And I don't really see, let me just check. Yeah, I can see we got one, two, three, four, five here. And I'm not sure about this A, B, and C here or how that plays out. It's probably just to here with one, two, yeah, I, I mean, look, the thing is, I don't see th I don't see five waves here. I see more like three. So we can look at, um, I'll have to re redo all of this, but that's such a good, um, <clears throat> and that's one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to look at that as the third wave, the fourth and one, two, three, four, five, a little extra wave in there. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe it's part of that one. Doesn't really matter. But uh, where does that leave us, though? Have to go does put it a bit more bullish actually anyway I have to put that over here so I'll put that up at the 38 point cent at the 148 area there <clears throat> kind of like to do it like this really but um, I just got an alternative count here that doesn't really matter at this point so, but anyway, expect it to go up to uh, 148. We'll check it, uh, we'll check this one tomorrow. And NVIDIA, so NVIDIA is a little bit cleaner. So we've got, um, well, see, this is the 38.2% retracement level for this wave four, right? But the thing is, is that um, none of the other wave fours like this one and this one, reach back to their 38.2 percent they all come in around 25 percent or 28 percent so it would be logical to have it down to this point here so and then moving over to the closest largest number so 140 um and if it can't reach 140 well then we can look at 138 and if it can't go to 138 we can look at 135 but this here is um well the a wave the b wave and then one and two maybe one two three four five so and look it's got further to go up there might be and this wave four may not be finished uh so Anyway, there's still another move to the upside. So we could probably say 136.50 to 138 here for that. You know, because sometimes they just lag and sometimes they sort of catch up and speed up and do all sorts of things. But <coughs> the main point is, is we're not ready to short yet. Once it plays up here and it comes back here, it will come back to the 130 here at some point and it will bounce off that. So it's that bounce at the 61.8% that you can um, short that market. And then with a smaller position, of course. So if you're buying right at the top, so always use a smaller position. And then once the 130 becomes the retested resistance, then you can add to that as well. So I wouldn't sort of expect too much we can see that there's volume coming into the markets uh in the bigger picture as well um which is kind of normal around all the lows of wave threes here um and then wave four being correction beyond lower volume and then coming down on wave five here so yeah i mean coming into a big number like it's not going to go very far and it's going to be bouncy it might even get to 110 i mean it could shock me and get to 90 but uh that's why we use 100 but we just count the wave structure as it moves down but anyway that's where we are so perhaps tomorrow we'll look for shorts um amazon here <coughs> i've tightened this up as well so i've tightened them all up so we've got wave two up here down for wave three 
So an ABC for the A wave, an ABC for the B wave here, and then one and two and three and four and five. So in this case, um, it probably could be another one in there, but basically we'll go up to the 125 to 12650 in that space. Uh, and uh, then we come down for that uh, next structure coming down. Once again, we're moving into 100 here. So how far it comes down? I mean, we expect it to take out these lows, but the 110 will give it a hard time. Um, so it, it may be pulled down to this number. Um, we'll see. We'll just count the waves to go down. But as I mentioned before, the um, you know, coming down into all whatever it was going to be, all these wave threes and fours here, we weren't going to do much with all of that. You know, we weren't going to play that um, wave four game, um, even though it had a really nice trend. So, you know, you don't always get things right, but if you do the right thing at the right time, on average, uh, it'll pan out for, for you much better. Um, so we talked about trading this down so we'll talk about that we'll do that and we talk about this move up here we'll have a good look at that as well especially the a wave if we get the bottom right the a wave will move up it'll be an a b c it'll be a z it'll be a zigzag they'll all be a zigzag pattern there'll be a five waves three waves and five waves here it's not that you may survive you know if you're going to trade this you just try to get the third wave in here and get out and be done with it you know because this can pull back 60 80 percent and that can destroy you at that point so just once you get once you can count down here clearly and you can say well that's five waves down here pete so i should be able to go in and buy but i'll just wait to prove it so i'll just get a little impulse wave up here for wave one and back for wave two and i'll start building in on wave two here because I've got wave one here already. So because the first five waves in the opposite direction of the trend will give me another five up. So I should be able to trade that third wave up here and get out around the fourth or the fifth up here and be done with it. And I may be able to get another one out of this as well. And that's okay, but you don't want to over trade because you don't want this to suck all the energy out of your brain at that point because you really need to be thinking about how to, how you're going to trade this down here and what is it going to look like and how do I get past, you know, the big thing here is how do I get past wave one and two, you know, because this pullback on wave B will be like this as well. Wave two is a simple and sharp. So am I going to hold through that? I can't sell down here. I'll have to short up here. And do I hold through that? Or am I going to get, am I going to trade it heavily down here, get out and wait for that and get back in again? Or going to leave some skin in the game? How, how am I going to handle that? And, and how am I going to, how am I going to get into wave three? How much money am I going to feed into this? You know, because that's where the money is. And so, but if you haven't thought this out here and you've got a couple, you need always need a couple of plans. You need, you know, plan B and C. And, um, but if you're too busy with your attention in here, you're not going to be prepared for this here, you know, and uh, preparation and opportunity is, is uh, luck and a uh, good chef will always prep first. So you be careful about how much, this soaks up here you know it's okay to you know have a small bet and have a bit of fun but um this is the one that you need to be you know do, this is don't take your eye off the prize um and we got to get that first we have to confirm that you know i mean uh, shit anything can happen really but um we have to play to win and uh and uh, sometimes we do and sometimes we don't so um meta here again so i'm looking at wave three here very much like amazon actually um an a and a b and then i'm just looking at this here so i uh, one more wave up so from b to c here we're looking for five waves so dodgy as hell here a bit like myself but one and two here and then one and two and three abc for four and up for five for the third abc for the fourth so there'll be another move up here i would imagine not too big just taking out those tops there um, 143 to 144, uh, depending the extensions in wave three. So wave one here and wave five will be kind of same, same in a way. So in this case here, you could, once it plays up, at, once it takes out the tops over here, then you can look to shorter under the 140 here to build a position. You can certainly get positions up here as well, but they have to be small because this has been creeping along here as resistance and now it's gaining support over here. So it's not really the place to go short 
you know you need it back under the level you need to be on the right side at the right time uh, so any positions up here need to be very small and i would probably look for a position if i was doing it myself 140 is the big number then one two and three here is group one once it trades up at 43 and if it comes back and finds the 142 the number two in, in group one as the retested resistance then you can get a small glean a small position at that point and then wait for this one and then hit it under the 138 once that becomes the retested resistance so between eight and five it will drop pretty quickly uh, in that space uh, Netflix so we talked about this being sort of bullish but you know I mean it's sort of uh, just hung in, hanging in there isn't it so we've got it as two up here then one and two and then five waves down here <coughs> for the one and an A and a B and a C sorry an A and a B and a C here for wave two um, and you know I could look at this again here as uh, wave one here and, and a wave two sitting over here somewhere with another little move up um, and then down for wave three here so it may play out like that I really don't know but if it takes this top out or probably more so this top um, yeah probably this one and really I should put it onto that one be, just to be sure to be sure so if it takes out that top then we've got some other thing going on here you know but but basically taking out this top or that top you know it should be uh a red flag in the wind waving rapidly so um yeah be mindful so we can look at this here as an a and a b and a c for wave two here i think it's held above there hasn't it yeah it has a bit but yeah anyway we've got we can look to shorter under this number here and this number here. We can add small positions under here if it's, um, <coughs> it has to prove to us that it's weak, you know, that's the main gist of it all. And uh, uh, end phase here. So we've got wave three up here and uh, yeah, so um, as I this has been kind of interesting as I've mentioned before that um, when you're starting into a wave four, you never really know what type of correction that you're going to get. Um, you just start off with thinking that you're going to get the worst and then that way you get the right mindset for it. And, and you know, we've had this as an A and a B and a C and then we've had it as wave one and two and three because I could see that this was correct. I thought, oh, that will make a nice four or we could go to here and make a nice four. Um, but then it just started to get too, too, too complicated. Um, so it's more like a wave B. Um, so yeah, it's at, now, at this point, <laughs> it's looking as an A and a B and a C wave for the A wave and then an A and a B and a C here for the, what's the name? So for the C, so we still need another move, <clears throat> move up here. And then we'll have five waves down here. And I kind of like this because it puts it in line with the S&P 500 and all the other markets that we're looking at, as I may have mentioned before. Um, yeah, so that's kind of where we're looking. This is probably about the 61.8% around here anyway. Um, there'll be a whole lot of flags coming in here, I guess. So, um, yeah, so all of that in, in there, there's a lot going. <clears throat> there's three things. There's the trend line, the 50, 60% retracement level, and a big number there as well. So there's a bit of a doorstop at that particular point um but it doesn't look like this is finished here i don't know if i need to include that here that that yeah anyway i'm not going to get into it too much there's probably another move up here i just don't know if we can put wave three here it's sort of still missing a leg in here so anyway could i'll just put that there and that there but uh expect another move up for this um yeah and then we'll count five waves down here for that and you know when we find the low in the s p and the nasdaq and all the rest of it this will also be the low here for this so i don't know if we're going to get up to 400 up here we'll just uh we'll, we you know we have to move up here in line with the uh with the s p and the nasi and all the rest of them as they're moving up for their wave twos you know <clears throat> uh tesla so um yeah, we counted down from the top here as one and two, and then we got one and two, and then three and four, and then I don't think that's made a new low here, but the thing is, you know, is like all the other markets, we're looking at a wave four, 
and one more leg to go down. So I'm kind of inclined to put this over here, but it just doesn't fit very well as, um, I mean, it's a nice wave three, don't get me wrong here, but as one, two, three. So some, is, uh, I'm missing something here with this at the moment. <clears throat> Maybe it'll catch up. I mean, the thing here is that, um, let me just check on this one. That's pretty close to the 38.2, so that's good. The other 38.2 is very close to the um, <clears throat> 260 here. So it should stay, um, whatever happens. I mean, I just, I can't call that in as wave five yet here. And I don't know if wave four, this wave four is gonna get more complicated, but the timing of things, because <clears throat> all the other markets are going to have a wave five to come down. Do you know what I mean? Oh, what if I could use that? Is that where the problem is? It definitely makes a new high here, doesn't it? I thought I could use that as one and two and three and four and five to bring this wave three in over here, you know? <clears throat> I think that might be the case, you know? I, I know a lot of sort of midterm Elliot folks would sort of start rolling their eyes again but um, the timing bringing things together is a little bit more important than is that the high or that the high <clears throat> um, but anyway look there's an issue here right I haven't it needs to be resolved but the main point is is that um, we still need to come down um, there there will be support at the uh, 230. I mean, using this as wave three, four, and five here, we haven't even made a new low here. So this should give us one, two, three, four, five. If, if that's the case, um, we may get away with it. I'm just gonna leave that wave three here and put that here, and then we'd have a wave four coming back. Then that would take us deeper down here. But um, I'm not quite sure, but uh, it should eventually let go of the medium level here, 250, and drop lower. So um, I would hold short. You don't need to have the stop way up there on that, um, even though we've taken profit here. But, uh, but you still need to leave it above the 260. So you need to leave it, and you don't want to put it at 265 because that's the next level. So 267, 267, 34, or 37. And then you have to well, somewhere in there. So then you have to also watch out for um, market makers if you're, um, you know, in the uh, CFD business. Okay, um, <clears throat> Alphabet. So I'm tightening this up to this wave four as well, all of them really. So the A wave, the ABC for the B wave, um, <coughs> and then wave four here so we can see this strong move in the middle here so that's going to be wave one i mean this could be one two three four five here for one and two and three and four and five so another move up into 103 it could go a little bit higher um, but somewhere in there and then um, then we'll look for that move down lower here to finish off that um, move. So yeah, I mean shorting it under the 100 could be good but there's lots of support coming down into here as well so it's going to be a rickety old ride um, but uh, yeah, that's that's that. I mean, I suppose I could, you know, in, in the, some of these instances here, because I've tightened everything up, I suppose I could have put wave, um, you know, uh, wave five here in some, in a lot of cases, and then put this wave four here and this wave three here, that type of thing, you know, tighten it up like that. So that was all, that's sort of all doable as well if you've got that. But what the trouble with that is, and we may need to go there, but um, 
if that is the case, if I if I have to tighten them up like that, then what will happen is that I'm just going to put these back over here. If that was going to be the case, that would leave five waves up here, all right? And this would be the same with most stocks as well. So all of this move up here would be the A wave, and then we would come back for a B wave, and then we would go up again for a C wave, would have a three wave move to the upside. So just a little bit of food for thought, you know. Um, I don't, it's plausible possible but not probable um, but still it, it is there it's there is a chance for that to occur if we looked at it like that you know but it's hard to put um you know in a lot in this case it kind of you could do it but in a lot of other cases it wouldn't work very well because this would just be too small but just just pointing out different things that's all not no no biggie um uh, Microsoft, <clears throat> so wave three here with the A wave and ABC here for the B wave and then moving up here for the C wave. We've still got one more move here by the looks of it because this would be one and uh, look, I haven't really pulled that apart to be honest, but I could probably see this is one, two, three here, four, five, the third, fourth, and one more move up here for this. So once it plays up through here and then you can see it, um, See, once a market has three waves down, then anything under that is shortable because the, because the market will, you know, come down further at that point. If you shorted it under the first leg down here, then you're at risk. Yes, you will get another move down, but that could just be an ABC and then you go up from that point, you know. I'm just pointing some, just some basics out, you know. Um, but yeah, they can be helpful. Okay, so Berkshire Hathaway, <clears throat> same thing again. So wave three here with an A wave, an ABC here for the B wave, and then one and two, I think one, two, three, four, five, the third, fourth. That fourth wave may linger around and come down a bit further and all the rest of it. And then we'll have wave five up here. So 283, 284, probably 283 two, something it will be because it will be at 28, this is all of group two here. So um, the 83 here will be critical, but it can trade above that, but probably won't find support on it. We might get an A, B and C in here. I don't know how that's going to play out. Um, <clears throat> yeah, but that's that. And block. So I've just normally we're on the hundred ticks. I've just gone to a thousand ticks, <coughs> just to drill out a little bit. So you know we could actually have a low down here once we've finished this, but the rest of the market is telling me that we're going to have an A and a B and a C wave, and then go down again after that. So. Yeah, but anyway, the A, the B, and the C wave here. I don't know if there's probably another little push up here as well, and then we'll get this move to come down to bounce off the 50, and then a larger ABC correction here. But in the bigger picture, I'm not really sure how to look at this. I don't know if I should look at this as all of wave one down here, and then back for wave two. Um, but this is how I've got the, the rest of the market playing out. So we'll just see, you know, we just... Um, We'll just see how how it uh, plays out at this stage. But yeah, anyway, that's the best fit for this uh, move down here at the moment. And the bank, so Goldman's here as one and two, and I have to tighten all this up here for three, and then an ABC for four here, and then coming down. So like other markets, there's probably another move here uh, before coming down into uh, wave uh, one of five here and then the ABC and then we go from that point so that's where that is and um, uh, JP here so from um, I should have had this over to this point I think yeah so sorry about that not to matter the a wave the b wave and the c wave here so this wave four here may get a little bit more complicated as wave fours do but we should see one more push up here we are above the 
2% retracement level, so that's a bit of a warning sign um, that I could have the wrong count. But I think for the time being, um, I'll just allow that to play out uh, uh, here for this, but it'll be looking for something like this anyway. Um, just think about this for a moment. Yeah. Shit, I should have noticed that. That's, I didn't notice that before. This was one that had five waves to the upside. Huh. I'm going to have to push that back over there. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Um, yeah, right. It was the first one I've seen that actually had five waves up here and not three waves. I don't know how I missed that. Got my head stuck in the sand. Um, okay. Alrighty. Well, that's it. Um, thanks for tuning in. Uh, cheers.